Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a long time coming. I've been on a couple months hiatus trying to figure out what to do next with the pod. I'm excited to be here on Pod Poli. I think that's how you say it. Pod Populi. Oh my gosh. Thanks, Janine, in the back telling me what's going on. Um, I'm excited to be here with Pod Populi at their studio filming my podcast from now on. So we got that quality on fleek. But guys, it's been a crazy like four months just with modeling and influencing, traveling. I was in LA for a little bit trying to like get my creative juices flowing of what I want to do with this podcast. I want to bring in more guests in. I want to have more like talks from athletes to Vine stars. You're going to see a lot of cool people coming on the podcast, just talking about life, talking about dating, talking about how they got their start, success, failure. They're going to talk about it all. And that's what I wanted to share with you on the podcast. Like all things that are, I think are valid, valid for you guys to hear, valid for you guys to know. Because not only, you know, people on the spotlight are actual human beings, they're real people. And you got to get to know them from the inside. You can't ever judge a book by its cover. And that's, you know, something I really always wanted to show um, on the podcast and bring to life because you may see someone on social media and not really know who they are on the inside and you're kind of getting the inside look on the podcast of who people really are. So I'm really excited to be back in this crazy like four months, I think, hiatus. So yeah, we're going to get rolling with amazing episodes. Um, we'll do like a catch up podcast soon. And I'll kind of tell you all after kind of fashion week, I'm about to be rolling into fashion week, it's gonna be crazy. I'm really excited. Like Miami swim week, I was in 14 shows and I didn't like have time to have fun. But this time for New York fashion week, I told my friend Allison who I'm going with, I'm like, yo, we're having fun. We're gonna go party a little bit. I'm gonna drink a little bit. I'm gonna have fun because I was doing fashion shows till 4am in the morning in Miami. And I was just exhausted. And like, I didn't get to go to all the fun parties like everyone else did. And it was my first Miami swim week. But this time I'm, I'm really gonna gear up and, and have a good time in New York and uh, actually going back to the Carolinas tomorrow. Um, I don't know when I'll air this podcast, but if we're talking, it's September 2nd and uh, I'm going to be going back and seeing a bunch of friends, seeing a bunch of family, going to some concerts, getting my Southern accent back like cranked up full volume before I go to New York, I guess, and then have a good time in New York Fashion Week. So I'll give you the updates on another episode about all that. But for now, I'm excited to bring back the podcast with one of my favorite people. Her name is Victoria, too. So you know what? I had to bring back the podcast with another Victoria because why not? It's Validated by Victoria. We're going to bring in Validated by Victoria Squared right now. That's the podcast name for today. She is an amazing, beautiful human being. I met her through my mutual friend, Allison, who I always talk about. You saw her last season of the podcast. Um, we talked for a long time. And uh, I'm really glad to have met her. Um, we actually had a little girls wine night last night. We had a lot of fun FaceTiming people. But we're going to talk about traveling, what's next in her life. You've probably seen her on a reality show, but this person is more than just a show. She's an amazing human being, and I'm really excited for you to get to know her. The one and only Victoria Larson. Get Listen on to hear more about her and her journey. Hey guys, welcome back to Validated by Victoria. I'm here with the one and only Victoria Larson and Princess Coco Larson <laughs> over here. What is up? You just got back from Europe. Like, tell me all about it. I want to, yes. we have wine right now. We got Chardonnay. -nay. <laughs> she ate her sushi while I was on another pod. And now I am going to eat while she talks about Europe. Because I'm curious about all the European travels. We were talking last night about it, but I want to know more. Yeah. Um, I was in Europe since May, and as soon as I landed, well, of course, I'm always grateful to come home to America, mm. and I didn't do the paperwork correctly for my dog, but I'm like, okay, I'm safe in America, whatever, but immediately, too, I was like, why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> I want to leave again. You, I mean, you were living your best life in Europe. Where did you go? Yeah, so I started in London. I was going to home base in London, and the reason I went there, too, is like, Miami's crazy right now. So I was living in Miami for winter. The My rent went up again, and I was just like, dude, I don't want to pay this much to live in Miami for summer. Florida rent is, like, insane right now. Insane. Insane. So I was like, wait a minute. I could spend this money in Europe. So I was going to home base in London, and then I got there, and it was just as expensive. And I didn't actually know this, but London isn't part of the EU anymore because of Brexit. 
So mm. I, it was difficult with the dogs get back and forth. So I ended up kind of home basing in Paris. I would travel around and then come back to Paris to kind of just, you know, center ground. Like oh, city cool. life is so easy. Did, did you like Paris over London or London over Paris? Like what So I had like, like I fell in love with Paris this summer, but then by the end of it, I was like, this city's dirty and the people are so <laughs> arrogant. Like, what did I do all summer? Every time I think of Paris, there's this guy on TikTok and it's like this new trend where it's like judging people and he's like giving people in Paris the same attitude that they give me. And I'm just like, that's not, I'm like, that's my vision of Paris. I've never even been. So like, well, I'm Paris is interesting. And I actually got really lucky. Like I met super amazing people and like had such amazing experiences there. So I enjoyed it, but I don't speak French. So it got difficult. Um, I'd be like, croissant, that's it. Croissant. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was good. I went to south of France. I went to Spain. I love Spain. Spain's the bomb. Yeah. I've been to Spain and I love Spain. Spanish people out of this world. Yeah, and just the water over there was so much more fun for swimming because like, sadly like the florida water is so seaweedy yeah from like all the littering stop littering guys yeah literally um literally oh my god i'm done i just made a pun (laughs) and yeah stop littering like and there's it's kind of a little dirty in miami too. i know so i just like loved swimming in the oceans over there and just honestly too so like after the bachelor like, some people recognized me in Europe, still Americans, but I felt like I could be me, Victoria, not the queen. Like, because here people would recognize me, not yeah. even an insane amount, but just, like, enough to make me self-conscious. And over there, I just had my freedom again and could be myself. So I loved it. That, I mean, that's amazing. And it's nice to, like, go somewhere and just be able to be yourself because, you know, around here, I know people do recognize you from The Bachelor and you kind of still stick around with that stigma we were talking about last night I mean I've never even seen your episode I saw you with the brunette hair I'm like that no I like Victoria <laughs> the, the blonde. blonde I love the blonde version of Victoria and I know you were telling me some things about that but I'm glad you got like this kind of break and like yeah from America and just kind of got to like reset yeah I guess. be myself again and now from my travels because I've been going to Europe for like 10 years but obviously not with COVID yeah And then I was living in L.A. for a while, so it was so dang far. Like, um, I went from L.A. to Croatia once. It was, like, 11 hours. It's, like, too Too much. much So being on this side of the U.S., it's, like, easier to pop over. But I just stayed over. I didn't even pop back. <laughs> but so I know. I didn't know when you were coming back. And then I remember Allison and message. She's like, Victoria's coming back. I'm like, what? Really? <laughs> I thought you were like dead set, like you're a girl. You're a girl for life. I mean, yeah. you're going back, right? Well, I came back because I used to be a nanny here and the little girl's turning eight. So Aww. have to come back for her birthday. Happy birthday to her. Okay, yes. that's why you're, I was like, you mean, I've been watching your stories and I was kind of a little like having FOMO. I'm like, oh man I want to be in Europe well that's why though I did try to share like there was ups and downs it was not all a walk in the park like I was there for so long that I was living normal life and you know normal life isn't always perfect so I definitely had ups and downs but I feel like that made me get so much stronger because I stuck it out and everything always works out like life is pretty great so and you're gonna go back what are you planning on going back yes so I'm going back to I might I'm going to pick a country to go to in Europe to break up the travel, and then I'm going to Dubai and then Bali Ooh. to work on a really exciting project. Oh, yeah. I want to, like, I mean, I know you don't want to reveal all the details, yeah. but we were ta- you've been talking about it. Like, it's super creative, it. and it's going to, you know, be utilized to help the world, like, be more sustainable. Um and help people feel confident and beautiful. So I'm really Love excited. That. Yeah, I'm excited for you. And yeah. you said it's going to launch in Bali, right? Or? Well, I'm going to launch it in Ibiza. Okay. So fun. I had a, I had like a, I was partying a lot when I went to Ibiza ten years ago. So to go back this summer and not party was so like, like a huge hump for me to cross. Yeah. And I ended up, you know, connecting with the right people, and now I have a really exciting project. So. It was good for me to listen to my intuition and, like, chill with the partying because you're the same as me. Like, we're in all the right rooms with the right people. So, like, 
why do I want to not be the best version of myself? Exactly. So. I feel like I'm just phased out of like the hardcore partying where it just doesn't alert to me. But I mean, sometimes I'll do it. I'm not going to say like, oh, I'm not going to say no to a good time, but it's good to like network and get yeah. out there. Me but too. I thought Ibiza was just full on partying. No, absolutely it is. But also the island of Ibiza is like super magical because there's this rock called Esfedra Ooh. and it's one of the like magnetism points. So it's similar to like the rocks in Sedona, oh. how it's like an energy field. That's so nice. that's why Ibiza has so much magic. And of oh. course there's the best parties in the world, the best DJs, but the island itself, the nature of the island, which is getting really popular, like the north side of the island is just magic. See, I've only been to Mallorca, which is below, and it was That's beautiful. Spain, yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I, I really want to go to Ibiza. How did, Ibiza? That's how they I, say it. Ibiza. <laughs> Ibiza. Miami to Ibiza. <laughs> yeah, come next summer. I and definitely want to come and yes. see, like, you launch all your amazing business. I'm so excited for yeah, you. Yeah, so, and then another thing I want to launch, um, I have to go to L.A. to work on. Ugh, I just hate how L.A. is so far, but... Basically, this summer gave me the freedom to, like, get my creative juices flowing again. So I'm really happy. Yeah, I mean, I feel that. I was just talking earlier about, like, this summer I've just kind of been really focused. Like, what's next for me with business and in life? Instead of just, like, partying every day this summer, I've been like, all right, we got to make a business plan. I'm getting older. You feel that? <laughs> like, I don't want to go come up on 30, but it's coming fast. And I'm like, it, it's time to, like, make a change for myself. I can't keep doing all these, like little kid I feel like or young adult things it's time to be like a woman and boss babe so yeah it feels good like I'm turning 30 this year as well I think that's why else I'm going everywhere like I'm probably low-key freaking out but I also feel like so grateful to have the courage and the freedom to travel finally and do everything and I was like really like oh I want to go to Europe and meet a guy like I want my kids to be international and then I'm like, you know what? I'm international. Like, I'll give that gift to my kids regardless. I, I love that spirit because it's like, yeah. you know what? F man. I'm not going to, like, <laughs> go F man get money. Like, you know, you just do I your mean, own I thing. I still want an international man. <laughs> but we're going to, like, spin into, like, European guys versus American guys. Because oh, we Lord. were talking about that last night. <laughs> Being back, I'm like, are you kidding me? Like the guys here, they're but wait, we gotta choose our game. wine. We're, we gotta, we gotta take a sip before Cheers. we start talking about dating because dating sucks for me here. I'm gonna take a big sip for this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm gonna need a big sip. <laughs> put the straw in the bottle for oh this one. Mm. I should have put the bottle in the cooler, but yeah, like you, we were talking about. So we all hung out last night. And we were just like talking about everything we're talking about European guys versus American guys and I tell you what dating here sucks I mean also though too like since I've been back I think I hate to say it but like men are they like a game from what I've seen so like since I was gone for so long now that I'm back like they're like kissing the ground I walk on <laughs> which is good but she's got to be away for a little bit I think yeah away. and I think it's too is like the attitude of like because I'm focusing on my businesses and doing all these things, now the guys are interested. Like, it's part of that, too, you know. Like, no – I think men are providers and want to give, but they don't want to feel that they – need to yeah. unless you have that type of man but that's not typically I mean, the one I go for yeah I, so I mean I, do, I feel like anyone in life like I feel like I'm more attracted to women as friends like who have stuff going on for them and yeah and we have such a good girl group that is always you know yeah. putting themselves out there and keep on going so like I'm attracted to those kind of people in general like go-getters that's why I uh, this one guy I met in Paris, I don't want to <laughs> say, but he lives somewhere else. And I'm like, dude, he's so hot because he's, he was the one who motivated me to not party just by his example. And like, he's just like works and is always networking. And I'm like, oh, that's so hot. I feel like now it used to be for me. I'm like, oh, I like the guy who gets the table at the club. And I'm like, who, <laughs> who am I? I like look back at that. No, I, I've always Are liked you? the club owners. The club, well. <laughs> You were a little bit more elevated than me. I'm like, oh, who's getting the table? Heck and then no. I would I would go, and that's who I would be attracted to. And now I'm like, oh, I'm more of like the business suit kind yeah. of guy. Yeah. I like that. Like, there's like another thing on TikTok, because I literally watch TikTok nonsense. I watch TikTok. I don't watch TV. And there's <laughs> like 
this girl who like records all the men in like New York City like coming out of the office in their suits and I'm like oh, that's my kind of man oh no, no. <laughs> for me I don't like that because I'm such a free spirit like someone who works a nine-to-five like I have this guy in Boca I like and he owns his own business so he's working every day which is cool but then there's like I don't know like I like someone who has more freedom in their schedule yeah I but that. but I feel like when they're you know, because I'm 30, so I like, like, mid-30s. Like, they're still working really hard, and, you know, I don't know. But then if you go for, like, 40, they have more free time. Co- Coco, Coco, which do you like? Coco agrees. <laughs> Coco. Coco. Do you like Europe, or do you like America better? I think she likes Europe. Like, she's getting antsy. Like, where she are we going? She stared at me. <laughs> <laughs> she stared at me. Do you like Europe or America? I think she's a, a par- Parisian puppy. Yeah, it took her a while, but then she liked Paris. Um, she liked. Mm, I brought her to Mykonos. It was super windy, but she liked London, all the parks. How was it traveling with your dog? Because, like, I mean, I you know I have a dog child, and I love yeah. that you took her everywhere. I think that's just amazing. You're a good dog mom. Yeah, she's an assistance dog, so she helps me. And um, you're an assistant. She's my assistant. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, nah, I'm the queen. You're the queen. Yeah. Yeah, you are. You are. No, but actually to go to Dubai and Bali, I can't bring her. Oh. So I have to figure that out. I'm just, uh, I've been scratching her the whole time and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> the neediest. Oh, you're just a good girl. Like Coco is like literally queen and she like, she tracks everyone too. Cause like last night we were at dinner and. I swear, one time I was like, Coco, go find me a doctor. <laughs> this was in L.A. And I swear, like, five seconds later, this guy comes over to me, and he's like, yeah, I'm a doctor. And then I was like, Coco, get mommy a surgeon. And then I swear, five seconds later, a guy comes over. He's a surgeon. Coco, <laughs> are you a wing woman? Are you going to tell me? Coco, go get Victoria to an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> Run fast now. We're running out of time before I hit 30, Coco. I'm done. Coco, you're the plug. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So cute. I need to teach Daisy how to do that. <laughs> so, okay, you got European travels next. But you're going to be here in Florida for a little bit. Yeah, so I was going to go to New York as well. But then um, I think I'm going to stay here for a couple of weeks. Florida is such a good home base. And, like, every time I'm here, I feel so happy. Like, I love my friends you're here. you're from here or does your family live here? No. So I grew up in New York. Oh, okay. And then my family moved to Tampa when I was in high school. I went to FSU. At 17, academic scholarship. Yeah, okay, pause. Because that's, like, <laughs> something you told me, and I was just like, oh, my gosh. You know, you, you had that stigma around you from wh- whatever, and you're like, no, I went to college when I was 17, bye. I'm yeah. Like, well, I went early because, um, <laughs> because you're I don't smart. know. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, because I, I was, like, ready to get out of my house. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. I was just very like that. But then I dropped out of school to go to Ibiza. Like, my parents were like, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I have money in my account. And they're like, that's your scholarship money. Like, you have to get classes with that. And I was like, mm, no. I mean, <laughs> so honestly, was crazy. life experiences over school. For someone who's been in school for freaking eight years of their life, I think I've learned more from life experiences and travel than I have ever have sitting in a classroom. Yeah, absolutely. Not like knocking, like going to college. I mean, you know, I do drop think out. <laughs> I do think it's beneficial. And I went to law school, like Jesus. I do think it's very beneficial, but at the same time, I do feel like if you don't experience life, like yeah. I, I have friends who like make straight A's in law school, and they work at CVS. No, absolutely. Like I, ha- well, that's crazy. But I had to look at it like that, like. Because I I was down on myself for a while. Like, I just didn't have the energy to sit in a classroom. And even this past winter, I dropped out of esthetician school. I'm just very, like, I get FOMO, I guess. I'm just, like, I want to do things. I don't want to sit here. Yeah. a lot of schools, like, putting in the hours. But, like, I've put in the hours to create businesses and do other things. Like, I just don't – I could do the tests and the paperwork in – shorter time so why do I have to sit and do the class like it was just yeah. not my thing but you're more of a free spirit I've never been someone who can sit under fluorescent lights and do a nine-to-five that's just not me oh, I like to travel I like yeah. to like be myself I like to work on the go so I, I mean I totally get that yeah because I feel like too then we're authentically all the time a lot 
uh, people I know that do the nine to five, then they're like raging on the weekends and they get in this different circuit. Like I'd rather just, you know, do whatever I want, yeah. <laughs> whenever I want. And I, I was talking to one of my friends and I was talking about hometown and how like everyone just gets married. Get, like it's like, you know, get married by a certain age, have kids by a certain age. And I'm like, and I, there's nothing wrong with that. Cause no. I, I wanted that for a long time. Same. Thank God I didn't get that. Yeah. I think God just had like bigger plans like yeah. for me and you. And I, I'm kind of glad that I've met you and we've gone mm. on this like amazing path and journey in Florida together. And yeah. I hope to like meet up with you on the European travels. Cause yes, I, I like invited fun. you this summer. I know. Honestly, my passport has been expired for a minute now. Oh. So <laughs> I, gotta get, this week. I got literally, I got to go this week and get it done. But, um, I'm going to finish the sushi now. We're going to finish this bottle of wine. I'm, we <laughs> didn't really drink a lot cause we were just chatting it up and you've, brought some good points like I'm so glad people kind of got an inside look at your life you're just this boss ass I'm sorry I'm gonna say the cuss word boss ass bitch <laughs> who's doing amazing things Thank traveling you. the world and you got a lot of incredible stuff about to happen in your life and yes, so I'm everyone excited. like watch out for Victoria and I will Larson. admit I'm not normal like I may be crazy but I'm not mean like You've, they made me look mean I'm not mean okay yeah you know what I don't like how these reality shows like I've spent like spin things sometimes and you know how it is I have some friends on other shows and they came out as villain but they're one of the nicest people I've ever met but honestly when I met you I didn't even really know because I don't watch tv so I didn't know yeah. you are so I just got to know you for you and then I you told me the other stuff and I've heard the other stuff and I'm like nah she's like the coolest person I ever oh, met so I'm you. glad to have met you Victoria Squared validated by Victoria Squared happening right now but thank you for joining on the podcast I'm so glad oh, to fun. have you here and it's the first podcast back so this Yay. is amazing. So tune into the next episode of Validated by Victoria. If you like this episode, subscribe, like, comment, do what you got to do because we want to keep pumping out these episodes on the pod. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. I appreciate you being here. Cheers, Victoria. Cheers.